Hi, I'm Greg Sanders. I'm the Executive Director of Redemption House Ministries. Tonight we're standing in uh, Regeneration House, which we recently vacated. The, uh, as you can see, there's less than a thousand square feet uh, where we would have uh, eight beds uh, for guys to sleep in every night and uh, we would serve them meals. Uh, we uh, have moved over to the Episcopal, St. Andrew's Episcopal Church. Uh, they've been able to give us temporary housing uh, for the next 10 to 12 weeks. Hi, here we are at the uh, St. Andrew's Episcopal Church. We're in this larger facility in this basement here, uh, and that's uh, due to the fact that the St. Andrew's Episcopal Church were willing to take us in for a temporary time to give us uh, shelter through the rest of the winter. And we're so grateful for them for what they've been able to provide for us. Uh, this is a facility that is large and gives us more opportunity to serve more uh, men but it is a temporary facility that we will uh, be vacating at the end of winter. The idea is that we find something that will be a permanent home. And so we're looking to the community to help us in uh, our search and in, our, in supporting us towards uh, a more permanent facility. Hi, my name is Chris. I've lived in Prineville for about 20 years. I uh, first became a guest at Regeneration House in um, early September and because of Regeneration House I've been given an opportunity to get back on my feet a little bit and start turning my life around and heading in a positive direction. Um, not only do we at Gener Re Regeneration House um, provide a, a roof over your head and a warm meal, um, we provide some companionship as well. So everybody's got a story and everybody um, is available to listen to your story here at Regeneration House. Um, I felt it was so important that I volunteer myself now and looking in from the outside as a, a person that has, had never been homeless, um, I realized once I got involved with Regeneration House um, and actually put my hands on it, how important it is to the community. Um, without Regeneration House, a lot of people would be sleeping on the streets in sub-zero temperatures and we've had a tough winter and a lot of people have been able to take advantage of um, the shelter um, during this period. Hi, my name is Jim Powell and I volunteered at the Redemption House and the reason I do it is because I'm a, I'm a Christian and when God uh, God changes your want to's, and one of the things He directed me to do is to help people out. So the door just kind of opened up, and I came down and helped out. I, you know, I, I stay here, and it's not hard. I just talk to people and stuff like that. What, what we're searching for, our goal is to uh, find a permanent facility that uh, will not only serve uh, as an emergency shelter and give men uh, space out of the cold or out of the elements, but also we're looking for a space that will serve us with wraparound uh, services to the guys, whether it be uh, just transitional uh, case management, uh, things that they can utilize to move their lives forward. It could even include uh, drug and alcohol treatment living program. Uh, so we're, we're wanting to expand our services to the community by this move. So we're asking for your support. So how can you help? We're uh, looking for donations of uh, a property or needing a facility. If there's a way that you know of a facility that we can utilize, you can contact us. If, if there's financial gifts that you can help us with to get into a new location, if, there's, uh, if you have skills in remodeling or construction, you might be able to help us in that transitional period. So really, we're asking for your skills and your abilities to help us to move on to our next uh, possibility.